Hey, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Don't freak out. It's just me. No, the apartment's not on fire. Wait, please don't go back to sleep. I just... I couldn't sleep. Well, it's your problem because you're my roommate. And I had a nightmare, and now I can't go back to sleep. Wait, no, please don't turn around. Um, it's like three in the morning. I know, I'm sorry, but I just didn't know what else to do. Yeah, so I decided to come here to ask you if, um, maybe I could sleep in your bed for the rest of the night. Just until the sun comes out in the morning. I'll be gone before you even wake up. Come on, please. Please don't make me beg. What will you get out of it? Um, you get to have a cute girl in your bed for a few hours, which is probably something that hasn't happened in a while. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I was just kidding. I I didn't mean it. I'm just really tired. Um, okay then. Ooh, I'll do your laundry for an entire month. Okay, fine, I'll do it for two months, whatever. Now, can you just scoot over? Mm, That's much better. And, ooh, I see somebody got the mattress pad I suggested. Uh, yeah, sleeping in your bed used to feel like sleeping on a rock. How do I know that? Um, I don't know, just a guess. No, of course not. Why would you even think that? What reason would I have to ever sleep in your bed? Don't look at me like that. Okay, so maybe there is something I never told you. One night, I came home really late from a night out. And I was super tired, and I guess I went into your room instead of mine, and I didn't realize it until I woke up the next morning. Hey, in in my defense, you didn't come home until, like, later that day, so, you know, who's really to blame for that situation, hmm? Yeah, that's why there was a little lipstick stain on your pillow. Sorry about that. Oh, come on. It's a little bit funny. Don't pretend like you don't want to (laughs) laugh. What was my nightmare about? Oh, um, nothing. Yeah, it was nothing really, I swear. Well, it's just that I know you're going to make fun of me if I tell you. Yes, you are. Mm, Okay, I'll only tell you if you bring down my laundry obligation to one month instead of two. Well, how bad do you want to know? I won't make something up, I promise. Here, give me your pinky. Yes, we're doing a pinky promise. It's the most sacred way to seal a promise. Everybody knows that. Come on. Don't choose now to start acting like an adult. Okay, a pinky promise to tell you what my nightmare was about if you promise to only make me do your laundry for one month. Okay, 
it's really stupid. So I was relaxing on the couch, browsing for something to watch, and then, hey, don't rush me, okay? I'm getting to it. So, you know how on the home screen it will recommend you something to watch? Well, it recommended that I watch the movie Coraline. And I thought it was going to be a cute kid movie. Still scary, but like scary in a way that's scary for kids, you know? And so, I watched it, and I didn't think it was that creepy after it was over. But... Then I went to bed. You've seen the movie, right? Well, you know how when she goes to the alternate universe and her other mother wants to take her eyes out and sew buttons into her eye sockets? Yeah, well, I had a nightmare where the other mother from the movie wanted to do the same thing to me. And she was chasing me all over the city. And it was dark outside. And I was the only one that was out. And every store I tried to go into to get help was closed or locked, and no one would help me. Well, I woke up right before she could get me. It was so creepy. Like, I could feel her bony hand grabbing my shoulder. So, yeah, that's what my nightmare was about. I can see you holding in a laugh, so just laugh already. I know, I know it's stupid. I mean, this kind of thing used to happen to me whenever I watched something scary as a kid, but I thought I was over this kind of stuff. Actually, I don't even know why they brand that movie for kids. It's far too creepy in my opinion. I am not a baby. Take that back. Now you're still going to make fun of me for months, aren't you? God, I never should have told you. No, I don't need to be held, and definitely not by you. Yes, I really did have a nightmare. Why would I lie about something so stupid? Trust me, being in your bed right now was not my first choice of places to go. Well, because I just didn't want to be alone. Being in your company is only slightly better than being freaked out all by myself. What do you mean, yeah, right? Do you really think I would voluntarily ever sleep in the same bed as you? Oh, honey, if you think that, you're in way over your head. (laughs) Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. Ew, no, I am not trying to flirt with you. Oh, please, I wouldn't go out with you if you were the last man on this earth, okay? Well, because you're not exactly my type, you know? Uh, yeah, I totally have a type. Oh, well, I can't really describe it. I just know you're not it. What do you mean, if I never try, I'll never know? (laughs) You want to do what? I am not kissing you tonight. I'm not kissing you any night. (laughs) You think that just because I came to sleep in your bed that I would want to kiss you? (laughs) Oh, please. You know what, now that I think about it, maybe I'm still in my nightmare. Can you pinch me to make sure? Ow! Ow! I wasn't being literal. Why am I still here then? Well, because your bed is comfortable. And I already told you I don't want to be alone right now. I can't just call one of my friends. It's three in the morning. So yeah, I came to you instead. Well, I don't mind bothering you. Excuse me? Have I ever thought about... What? Kissing you? Ew. Gross. Absolutely not. 
What are you even talking about? You heard me when. You were listening in on my conversation? I do not talk that loud. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just a thing girls talk about. It's really not that big of a deal and it didn't mean anything. Yeah, I was just joking around. When have I ever checked you out? Well, if I happen to look, it's because you insist on walking around here without a shirt on like 90% of the time. Which is so disrespectful, by the way. I mean, like, how would you like it if I walked around the place topless? Wait, never mind. I think I already know the answer to that, unfortunately. Ugh. You're so annoying. But now I am curious. Have you ever thought about it? Like, kissing me? Really? Why? Y you think I'm pretty? Really? I mean... Um, thanks, I, I guess. I mean, if I've thought about it, and if thought about it, yeah, maybe, maybe we, we should do it just once for, you know, research purposes. Yeah, like, why not? It's just a guess. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, cool. Oh, like right now? Yeah, yeah, we can um, do it right now. Okay, um, I can kind of see you. I think my eyes have adjusted to the darkness in here. Wait, maybe we should turn on a light or... Actually, never mind. I think that would make it more awkward than this already is. I mean, now that I think about it, we really don't have to do this. What if something bad happens after, and a comet, like, crashes into Earth or something, and then you'd be the last guy I kiss, and... Well, we're still here, so that's a good sign. I guess it wasn't that bad. Okay, fine, it was actually kind of good, okay? But I think we should just try again for quality assurance and stuff. Yeah, okay. Mm. So you and I both know that this is trouble. Yeah, maybe... We could be trouble together. I don't think we know what we're getting ourselves into.
yeah, surprisingly, I'm okay with it too. <laughs>